Hi, my friends. I am so excited to have you here today. Mrs. Newbie right here coming at you. I'm from my house right now. You're not going to believe what I have today. If you notice, I've got on my super special lab coat. So it means I'm going to do something sciencey. And if you remember when I did science stuff before, we had the experiments with the uh, with trying to get the ketchup out of the shirt. And then we did another experiment where we made all the soap bubbles. Well, I've got my lab coat on today. And remember, we always wanna be safe. So I've got my safety goggles and I wear my safety goggles to protect my eyes. Although my science activity today doesn't have anything that's liquid that's gonna splash and hurt us and nothing that's sharp, but it's still science and I'm so excited. Today, we're going to be a special scientist. We're going to be a scientist that has a name with so many letters. Look at all these letters. We have an E, N, T, O, M, O, L, O, G, I, S, and a T. That word is entomologist. And you're like, wow. What's an entomologist? An entomologist is a special scientist who studies insects. They study insects. So what does that tell you we've got? I've got something here that is going to be super, super cool. Now, my neighbors, Mr. Stan and Miss Nancy, shout out, Mr. Stan and Miss Nancy, found something so amazing, and they were so kind to share with me. In my special container here, I'm going to show you what I've got. I'm going to carefully unzip it because I don't want to disturb it too much. Inside of here, I have a special plant called milkweed. And on my milkweed, I have... Let me see if I can just lift it up a little bit so you can see. I have a caterpillar. Can you friends see my caterpillar right there? This caterpillar will hopefully metamorphose or change. Metamorphosis is a big grown up word. Change into a butterfly. Now, this is milkweed that he's climbing on right now. And you can see the bottom of my leaf. He's been eating, eating, eating that milkweed. And then, whoops, Mr. Newbie put some sticks in here. Because when he's done, when our caterpillar is done eating that milkweed, he's going to climb up on that stick and hopefully form what's called a chrysalis. And he stays in the chrysalis for a little bit of time. And then when he emerges... Do you have any idea what he's going to emerge into? That would be called our hypothesis. If you remember, a hypothesis is a guess. Now, I don't have a chart right here to have you guess what a caterpillar is going to change into, but a caterpillar will change into a butterfly. So I'm going to share this story with you right here called monarch butterfly. This caterpillar hopefully will metamorphose or change into a monarch butterfly. Now, this book doesn't have illustrations or uh, drawn. Uh, this book has photographs made with a camera, a real camera. Monarch butterfly is the name or title of this book. And um, it's by David Schwartz and the pictures using a real camera are done by Dwight Kuhn. So here we go, so excited. Orange and black wings flutter over a field on sunny summer days. They are bright wings of a monarch butterfly. The monarch flies from flower to flower. It stops to rest for just a moment and off again. A butterfly has laid an egg on a milkweed plant. If you remember, I said there's milkweed in the container. 
So the egg is about the size of a pencil point. That's really tiny. Look at the end of your fingernail, so tiny. Um, it sparkles in the sunlight like a tiny jewel. This is the first stage of a new monarch butterfly. A few days later, the egg looks darker and the head of the caterpillar is pushing through the tiny shell. The caterpillar is also called larva. It will crawl out of the egg and onto the plant. This is the, the stage we're in right now. This is the stage we're in right now. The caterpillar begins to eat the moment it hatches. The first thing the caterpillar eats is its eggshell that it just left. After that, it only eats one thing, milkweed leaves. The caterpillar eats and eats until it grows, until it can no longer fit inside its skin. It must molt or shed its skin. It leaves its old skin behind and crawls away to a new looser skin. The caterpillar will molt four or five times in about two weeks. then something amazing will happen. The caterpillar stops crawling. It even will stop eating. Instead, it hangs upside down from its hind legs. Its skin splits and slides up. Underneath is a hard case. The caterpillar is beginning its next life stage. It's called a chrysalis. So right now, our caterpillar kind of looks like this, but he's still eating the, the milkweed and pretty soon, We'll cross our fingers and hope it'll work. We'll turn into a chrysalis. At first, the chrysalis is pale, is a pale green with gold dots. Then the hard case slowly becomes clear. Clear means you can see through it. And inside you can see that the pupa's body has changed and it's turning into an adult butterfly. The chrysalis will split and a monarch butterfly crawls out. Its wings, wings are damp. Damp is another way to say wet. And they're crumpled, kind of wrinkled. They straighten as they slowly fill with blood. The butterfly will sit quietly for a few hours as its wings dry. And then they'll get stiff. Stiff is another word to mean like it's firm. Um, and then it'll fly off. You can see in these photographs, comes out and he has to let the wings dry and then it'll fly off. Like its parents, the monarch will visit milkweed flowers to feed on nectar. It's gone through four stages of life, the egg, the larva, the pupa, and then the adult. It's about a month's time. These changes are called metamorphosis. We talked about that in the beginning. Now, New female or girl butterflies will lay eggs on milkweed plants and the monarch life cycle will continue. So we'll start over. So here are some pictures here. What happens first? Well, first it's an egg. I didn't have it in that stage. Then it's a caterpillar, which is where we have it now. And then it forms a chrysalis. Then it's inside the chrysalis. It emerges from the chrysalis and the leaves have to dry. And then it emerges as a butterfly. And then that's the whole life cycle, my friends. Thanks. We'll uh, keep you up to date on our butterfly.